Okay. Editing started. Do you think the Beast Pack wants the Waddle Dees for anyway? I had just gotten to know all of them when the pack arrived and started capturing everyone. We're far from the Beast territory, so we thought building a town here would keep us safe. Thank goodness you came along, Kirby. Maybe we will find out as we go along. Aha. You know what? I think I'll start by going after these uh, challenges. doing Katamari up in here. Okay, that was almost cool. It wasn't so much a challenge as just having fun rolling around with the needle, but I like that. Like, that, 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 that's a fun thing, doing the needle power. Is that a bad fact? Hold on. I could have sworn I'd already upgraded the fire. I 
Maybe it was just one. <clears throat> Let's go see what the dealio is. The thing is, I haven't even used Crash yet. We can upgrade the sword. Time Crash. Yeah, I th yeah, I mean... I guess maybe the idea with that one thing is to, like, uh... I guess that challenge is meant to be just using the standard fire. And you know what? While I'm here, can you make... Alright, gotta go to the thing. Make my sword cooler. So that becomes... Hmm. Where? Hey. How you doing, Argo? Doing good. Cool. Now, we see the attention of the little pink ball that could, but probably shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Need to slap that little D, but oh well. <laughs> and then again, that fits Kirby. I think he he's just so excited to play around with his new sword that he doesn't think about where he's swinging it. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hello. Hey, we doing curb? The curb. How about the pink friendly Eldridge abomination? Yes, as I just said, the little pink puff ball that could, but probably should have. <laughs> yeah. I, I just love how one of Nintendo's greatest franchises is literally an Eldritch Abomination. I love it. He's not an abomination. Well, he is technically, but if you go by the definition... I mean, that. I'm pretty sure the enemies think he is but once he bores them to death. He looks just—he he looks just like all the other enemies. Cute, round, friend shape. That is true. Ooh. Oh my god, I just, I just realized. Mm -hmm. yeah. a, 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 uh, a fitting tagline for Kirby is, you know, uh, true power is the friends you ate along the way. <laughs> now that, yeah. that, that is definitely true. Well, I guess Dreamland should be grateful. He he may be a fickle god, but he's generally a good one. Yeah, don't steal his food. Yeah. Oh no, hey. Oh no, he'll go a little testament on your ass if you do that. Who ate my cake? I just had a thought. Is Kirby a shonen hero? Because think about it, he eats like one, he has super strength, his power is constantly evolving, he, he has friendship at his side. And, and yeah, he is P. I'd say he's, uh, he might be a shonen protagonist. Which makes uh, DDD the the piccolo of the or group. The Depending on which game. Yeah. Yeah. 
Also, that just has me thinking the Maxim Tomato is basically a sensu bean. Mm-hmm. Sensu bean! And he just throws it, the tomato at Dee Dee and just splats him in the face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, Bandana D or Waddle D or whichever one is the one that always hangs out with Kirby is the Krillin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, who's the Yamcha? Kind of DDD. I don't think so, because DDD <laughs> is actually... He's actually yeah, he's you know, if, if anything, D, if anything, DDD is probably Mr. Satan. Yeah, like, DDD is powerful, but he's also the butt of jokes. Okay, you know what? Mr. Satan's probably the best joke, because yeah. Mr. Satan... I know it's easy to make fun of him, but you also have to remember, he is actually a very powerful human. He straight up punches through a metal butt, tears bone parts in half. He actually is a powerful human. It's just that he is in the wrong show. <laughs> That's the problem. At least he's better than Dan Hibiki. Hey, Dan Hibiki probably would be strong if he actually uh, stayed around to learn how to properly use the power. Also, if he wasn't that made is... purely for spice. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. He straight up made his own fighting style and unfortunately wants the team to be. He, he, he's bringing down the collective skill of the human race on his own. So his lore is basically, um, he, he was actually, t he was actually, uh, learning under, uh, uh, is it Goku? I can't remember. Go I can't remember the names of the... Eventually Ryu and Ken's actual magic. Like, he straight yeah. up was the... But yeah, he was learning under him, but... Dan was like, no, nah, I want I want to learn how to do the, the super power stuff right now. Like, you can't just teach you that straight away. You need to master it first. Like, nah, teach me. You have to learn the basics. Basics first. Then, super powerful fireball attack. And I believe he, like, basically stole the knowledge why he can't actually perform them properly. He technically... Okay, he technically can, but I guess his... Either his... He never learned the control. Yeah, he either doesn't have any control, finesse, or the movement is just subtly wrong. It's like having a garden hose, but you don't have, like, the spigot to pressurize it. Same energy, bad output. And then he made his own fighting style, mixing what he learned with his own, uh, knowledges. And then you... That basically, uh, not quite mastered, but learned the fighting style to a high level in like a single summer break. No, uh, the most important thing he did learn, he does actually know how to tap into the dark shadow. Mm. He then tripped and lost it. <laughs> so, for a brief moment, he was on part of Akuma. For the briefest of moments. Do you want to know who's also, uh, canonically on par with Akuma? Uh, well, other than the obvious Ryu, because mm -hmm. he's main character. So who, who actually... Hey Hachi. From Tekken? Yep. Huh. That's pretty neat. Akuma's in Tekken 7. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Streets of Rage is also in canon with... Street Fighter, so yeah, protecting it. 
Is there any Street Fighter character in Soul Calibur? I guess it would be kind of nah. weird for him to be in there. Well, I could see M. Bison trying to get the Soul Calibur. I mean, yeah. the thing is, it's it's technically, it's canon, also not canon, because it's like, it's part of the main story that Akuma, uh, basically, uh, uh does uh, hang out with, um, well, not really hang out, but he battles, uh, Heihachi. Yeah. Um, he was actually, he was sent to kill Heihachi by, uh, Heihachi's wife. I mean... Who better to assassinate your megalomaniac, you know, martial art husband than some other powerful megalomaniac martial artist? Yeah, except she's she is supposed to be dead. Huh. It turns out everything that happens in Tekken is actually all uh her fault. Huh. Well how about that? She basically had a vision that was like, um, uh, Heihachi is, I think it was Heihachi, it was either Heihachi or Kazuya. He's like, the vision's like, oh, they're going to destroy the world. Oh, and like, it's a Cassandra vision, the, the classic Greek, oh, I predict this really bad thing's gonna happen, but you're gonna trigger it because you found out about it, and you're going out of your way to try and stop it. Yeah. And therefore, destiny is predetermined. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, that is a standard Greek myth right there. Thinking back on the, the, the Soul Capper thing, like, isn't there, like, the case that, like, the Yoshimitsu in that and in Tekken are, like, part of the same plan or something? Yeah, same plan. So, technically, you could argue that if the connection between Street Fighter and Tekken is is canon, then the connection between Tekken and Street Fighter and uh, Soul Calibur could eventually, you could link them um, all the way back to Streets of Rage because you, like, you daisy chained all the way there. Hmm. I mean, yeah. I like those kind of thought experiments of <laughs> how far can you link games together, right? Yeah. It's it, it. It is funny seeing those things where it's like, okay, we have this one dumb cameo. How 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 can we make that work? Exactly. Like. It, it, isn't it like the first Mario RPG, like, there's this one scene where you can find Samus taking a nap or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think, was it Samus or was it... No, it was Samus. She, straight up, it was Samus. I, I thought it was Link that was taking a nap, and I thought it was a Samus toy that you could find, but I guess it might be Samus that's taking a nap. I know for a fact that the cameos were changed for the U.S. Because some of the, like, cameo lines and other stuff were changed. Like, I remember in Japanese they made a Final Fantasy question. For the I mean, US. don't don't forget, uh, you can also find a picture of Princess Peach in Link's Awakening. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, the, of course, there's the Goombas in the side-scrolling segments. Yep, uh, there's Mario in Ocarina of Time. Not to mention a, a bunch of Mario enemies in Link's Awakening. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, and Kirby is straight up an enemy, or there's like an anti-Kirby in uh, one of the dungeons. Exactly, yeah, so you can throw Kirby in there. Though the validity... Some people have debated that not how canon Link's Awakening is. Yeah. 
I think it is, even though technically the events were a dream, it was still a super powerful magic dream inside the dreams of what's essentially a god, or at least a demigod. I, I count that. And it makes sense that it's like, oh yeah, there's like, Kirby is a dreamland resident, so you that feels like it would make sense that, oh yeah, it's... You know, yeah, that a Kirby-like entity could exist in a dream. Huh. Mm -hmm. You know, I never really thought about it until you mentioned it right now. Ha! Hi, has duckies. Kirby would totally adopt some duckies. And then he would dress them up in, like, little outfits that match the ones he would wear. You know he would do that, right? And it would be the best thing ever. Okay. Alright, now let's take you to Mama. Yee! So, what would you say about this game? Pretty good? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of Kirby through and through, and that's like, okay, it's it's a pretty breezy game to play through, but well, it's still fun. Honest. Let's be honest, there is always room for a breezy, easy game in between your difficult ones. Yeah. Games like Kirby need to exist. And it's also nice in that it's kind of like a... Um, yeah, it's easy, but it gives you these little challenges of, oh, you can go out of your way to do these things. It gives you a reason to replay the levels. Exactly. Kirby games have always been pretty good with that. I've been getting further and further into Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I fucking hate the classic. Yeah. Because all it does is just making me go, I hate school, I hate school, I hate school. I wouldn't say I mind them, but there is so much of it that's like, I, I already know this. Yeah. It's admit, more of just it's just annoying. It's busy work. Yeah. yeah. Though I will admit, the one question that really threw me off was the, okay, how many Pokeballs do you get if you purchase, you know, this mud? And I forgot about the. How can you forget about Premier Balls? Yeah, I completely forgot about that because I didn't take that into account. It was like one of those trick questions. Very, very easy trick question. No, but it's like the equivalent of say, like I ask you to say, most boats roast, or most boasted roast, and then immediately after I ask what goes in the toaster, the brain immediately thinks Fred. toast because it goes. No. In the I've had, I've, I've done that one before. I've never yeah. been tripped up by it. I've, I've, I've tripped up plenty of people too, but yeah. Point is, I feel kind of frustrated, but it's one of those. I didn't quite think that's the real. Yeah, I, I didn't think of that at my first time through with that. It's like, oh, you tricky fricker. It's like, especially since it's like framed as a math question. Exactly. That's the other thing. Like, if it was just a simple math question. I guess you guys just aren't uh, on the same level as me as Pokemon Masters. Everyone knows that a true Pokemon Master knows how to shop for good deals. That is true. And, you know, actually use anything other than Pokeballs. Ash! They always work for him, so he, he's never had a failed catch. 
No, he has failed catches before. At least in the first season, I know that. And actually, now that I think about it, I think Ash has only used... There have only been three different Pokemon Pokeballs that Ash has ever used to catch a Pokemon. And that is the Netball for his Totodile, the Safari Balls for the Tauros, and he did participate in the Bug Catching Contest, which had it own special Pokeball, but he gave that away. I'm pretty sure he used the Heavy... Was it a Heavy Ball? I think he had a different... He did, yeah. I, okay, I know it wasn't Ash, but wasn't there that one dude who tried to catch a Whiskash with a Master Ball and he just ate it? Yeah. And this is why you don't find Chinese knockoffs. That wasn't the Master Ball's problem. It was the fact that if the Master Ball has a, you know, perfect catch rate, if it actually hits... It... It literally was swallowed. I'm pretty sure it would have hit. Yeah, that, that doesn't mean it's gonna... That doesn't... It, it didn't quit! At least it's up against the throat! And then just, just, <laughs> that was like the biggest epic fail in Pokemon. Like, in the most hilarious way possible. What? Dan Hibiki fails less than that. Kirby has jiggle physics now. Yeah. I mean, if there's any Nintendo character that should have jiggle physics, I feel like Kirby should have it. <laughs> I don't know about you. Anyway, I'll be right back. That dumpy. Oh no, incredibly slow hazards. Anything in here? No. I risked my life for nothing. You're, you're more of a danger to yourself than the hazards. Yeah. <laughs> Just freaking go out of control. Danger under the big top. Oh wait, I think I might know who this boss is.
Ah, yes! I have seen pictures of you on the internet. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, everyone was thirsty for this uh, character. Mm hmm. My power! Give Kirby back his guns! Just unload on her. Yeah. You going? Also, yeah, I can see why people were thirsting. Yeah. Pencil drill. That'll be interesting to see. Bigger. And there's more gotcha to be had. And that's, I'm guessing, an arena? Five bosses and rivals face. Okay. Oh, hey, Meta Knight. Just kind of shows up. Yep.
see how this looks. Yeah. Oh wow. I'll give you give you more food later. Battle of Russia former bosses. Special reward. We seem to have an unexpected warrior using our first tournament as training. Not sure I would say unexpected, but alright. All the way from Planet Popstar stuck in this new world like us. Yep, yep, Meta Knight, yep. If you build it, he will come. Yes. What are you doing, man? Huh? No. Oh shit, I forgot to throw that out. Oh. Okay, and I'm back. Not that I really went anywhere, I just went out of range. Well, on the internet, away from the microphone, might as well be miles away. Or away from fear, because I know you also wear thing out there. Yeah. Yep. Miles. I got a new headset arriving most likely tomorrow. Nice. So now I won't have the the scratchy, staticky issue of my mic anymore. Hey. It's also going to be one that actually has good uh, EQ um, program. Good. 
so therefore I can actually equalize it properly. Like, this headset is like, it's a really good headset. And it was supposed to have like, um, an EQ program that it came with, but for some reason it never connected. Hmm. Like, I would, I would activate the program, and when I'd go to the like, connect it, it just never detect my headset. I say new headset, when in actuality, it's a whole new computer coming tomorrow. Alright, yeah, because you got just... that coming. Yeah. The, the headset was just one of the extra things I threw in. Still, new headset is good. It's one of those things that makes me think of that one freaking meme of, uh, you know, it's like, oh, it's you, you next to your new computer and you've got, uh, uh, the headset in your hand. And it's like, what do you got there? New headset. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a new computer, but, you know. Yeah. There, there is a meme that I am reminded of when it comes to, like, computers and upgrading and whatnot. And it's, uh, gamers spend thousands of dollars on new, uh, computer hardware only to play games on the lowest settings. Because, you know, those, those hardcore sweats playing their, uh, their CODs and their Counter strikes. Oh yeah, for All performance. Frames. Yeah. <laughs> uh. It's like, dude, you're playing the game at a steady, bloody, uh, 60 plus FPS. You don't need. No, I want more. Uh. Spike goes away. Okay, up next, a couple of bosses.
Oh. You're fighting uh crack with all. And they are gone. I'm surprised they li they uh, revealed uh, Quaxley's final Evo this early. I think I still need to give him a look at some point because so far it's just been uh, I think only Mouse Gera that I've seen in game is final Evo. Yeah. Well, let's just say, that that boss you were just fighting isn't far off. Oh wow. Next, some dude. Oh, fine. You gotta do your thing. It's a cool combo! I always find it funny to, ju to just suddenly remember, oh yeah, right, Meta Knight is basically just Kirby underneath the mask. Yep. How dare you reveal my cuteness! See that? To be fair, his sword's kind of trash.
Oh, he's got a little band with the wings. <laughs> oh. I have acquired the power of Ange! Yeah, <laughs> I just love the little wings. Yeah. Ah, and so the next part is a winter wonderland. I do find myself thinking of Kirby putting on like the mask and wings part of the part of the whole thing. And just Mennonites just Well, imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. <clears throat> God, I, I love the little sleepy guys. It's, it's they're just so cute, and they're not trying to kill me. This just does not feel Kirby. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. It's just like just this sort of uh, snow-capped city. I that that's kind of I guess the whole setting of like this post-apocalyptic uh, uh, just seems really out of place, but at the same time, kind of not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it kind of fits with how Kirby is in general, with how it's like, there's all this lore implying a great civilization that once came before, but now everything is just happy fun time, except for the freaking eyeballs of darkness that possess you. Yeah. I would still love to see it like a a realistic version of uh, like I say realistic a uh, Kirby accurate take on uh, like Smash Bros Ultimate where it's like yeah sure Kirby's the one that survives the initial wave but like the the godlike deities in Ultimate just probably pale in comparison to the shit that Kirby has to fight. Yeah. 
And it's like, oh yeah, we got the Goddess of Light. I mean, Pelotena is shown to have her limitations, but still. Yeah. And it's one of those things where it's like, with all the stuff of like, you know, gods and whatnot, just... We, we, know, we know Bayonetta would be there just being like, Bitch, please. <laughs> yeah. No, that, that is, like, the only way that... No, because I, I think, if I recall, like... Ultimate is not supposed to be the Toy World version of her call. But yeah, it's just like... Th that's the biggest problem with Ultimate Story, is... You... You have these... You have literal god killers on the roster. Mm-hmm. I mean, fuck, that is pretty much straight up, like, the purpose of the Monado by the time... Yeah. Right, by, by, by the end of that game. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> it's like, imagine that. It's like, uh, how, how the Smash Bros. Uh, Ultimate should have ended. You have the very first cutscene as, uh, the bloody gods start to descend. Bloody, uh, freaking shock with the Monado just, nope, and deletes. Yeah. <laughs> Even Kirby would be stepped back like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Well, let, let's be honest, his reaction would be, whoa. Can I eat it? Yeah. about that freaking uh, video again. Emmett Selk. Just trying to get the, the gun uh, to work. x -Arc review. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, that, that's the problem when you have these uh, these lengthy monologues in JRPGs. What, what are the, the bad guys doing? Oh, the party members just eating yeah. popcorn. Yeah, yeah, forget fan critting rain.
<laughs> you ever see a Paris uh, set of stairs just commit suicide off a building? <laughs> come up with a full-on Kamen Rider system, as I said, I, I've just been thinking about it more and more, mm -hmm. and how like I can turn the entire range of Pokemon gimmicks into Kamen Rider power-ups and utilities. For example, uh, terrestrialization. Mm -hmm. I think that would be just straight up common rider weapons, each weapon representing a different element. Seems reasonable. Like, you know, fire is gun. Uh ground is hammer. Rock is uh a meteor hammer. Psychic, a staff spoon. Basically, Mewtwo's weapon. I do like that, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, I will stop the stream there. Mm hmm. And thank you for coming round. Indeed. And good night to whoever the heck is watching. Yep, good night.